Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel Mind's Eye and Inspiration. This is going to be a reading for you for the month of December 2021. I'd like to say thank you for all the likes, shares and subscribes that I've received so far. I'm really, really grateful. If you haven't already subscribed, then do click that subscribe button. It's totally free and it lets me know that you appreciate the content I'm putting out. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what December has got in store for you. Check out my description box below. I'm going to put some links in there to some books that I've got available on Amazon. I've got a couple there. I'll also put a link to my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual, because she also does readings for each star sign. So, you know, do check out um, Anything Spiritual as well. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what you've got in store for December 21. Okay, so you've got the nine of coins there. You can see this lady, she's standing in her garden, abundant with all her money around her. She's holding a dove that's got a fresh leaf there. So that's saying there's new things ahead. And nines are about reflection before completion. So she's worked really hard. She's got all her money. Everything she's worked for has come to fruition, but there's more to come. And you're just in a period of time where you are reflecting and you're looking at what you've achieved. And what's to come. And it could be Sagittarius that you're standing there looking at what you've achieved and you're thinking, do I want to continue on this pathway or do I want to change and go on to something else? So you're reflecting on what you've achieved and where you want to go now moving forward and you've got the two of coins as well look so again decisions to do with money to do with balancing money where do I want to go you've got the two of wands as well look so Sagittarius there is definite definite decisions with you in December to do with work do I want to stay in the career that I'm already doing? Do I want to stay on this pathway? Do I want to stay in this situation? You can see this man here, he's got a, the world in his hand and it's like, it's like he's passing it from hand to hand. Look, he's got that hand open. It's almost, it's like he's deciding, what do I do? What do I do? But the world is signifying all the opportunities that are out there for you. You can continue on your present pathway. You know, you've achieved a lot. You're abundant. Or you can do something new. The world is your oyster, Sagittarius. It's all there for you. So you have got some decisions definitely to make about your future about where you get your money from, what you want to do. Do you, you know, you've got to enjoy what you do, Sagittarius. There's no good in life doing a job or being in a situation where you're not happy. So it's about making those decisions of what makes you happy, what gives you that fulfillment. What do you want to do? And you've got the star card as well, look. So this lady, this person, you can see her there pouring those two jugs into the water. So again, it's all about feeling balanced emotionally, spiritually, physically, being healthy, feeling balanced. You can see this massive star above her head so that's about following your intuition, following this inner guidance. 
What does your heart tell you? What does your head tell you? You know, what are your feelings telling you about the future? Let your inner guidance guide you this month, Sagittarius, to your future and the decisions that you want to make to help you carry on with that abundance and that growth. King of Wands, look, stand in your power when it comes to your career. There could be a person as well that is um, leading you or goading you has got the enthusiasm to push you forward. This could be a man, you know, but even though it's a king, it could also be a woman. It would be somebody in a powerful position. So it could be a manager or it could be a self-employed person. And it feels like they're pushing you forward in a situation. They're trying to guide you. They've got lots of enthusiasm, lots of ideas, and they're trying to push you forward. Now, they might be pushing you to do something you do want to do. They might be pushing you to something that doesn't feel right. Follow your guidance, Sagittarius, and do what you want to do. You can't live your life for other people. You can only live your life for you. Because if you just do what other people want you to do, then you're not going to feel happy inside because, you know, you're not doing anything that pleases you. So you've got to do something that feels right for you. You've got to do something that you find pleasure in doing. Wow. And you've got the Fool card. Look at that. Definite fresh start for you. A definite leap of faith into the unknown. But you're not scared. You're not worried. You're ready to take this leap of faith. You're ready to jump into the unknown. You're excited about something fresh, something new, something different. There's lots of passion there and lots of healing as well. So that's a good card to have. I've got some angel therapy cards here. So I'm just going to give those a shuffle and we will see. Oh, and we'll see what uh, the angel therapy cards have got in store for you, Sagittarius, for December. Right, let's see. You've got sacral chakra. You are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations and relationships. So as you go through these changes, Sagittarius, and as you make these decisions, you're going to be feeling really sensitive. So try and avoid conflicting situations try and avoid people that have got strong personalities who are going to be really harsh with you who are going to be really pushy with you who are going to try and control you you know respect how you're feeling respect your sensitivities respect how you feel inside and try and avoid situations that you don't want to get caught up in try and avoid being alone with people that make you feel uneasy or make you feel unsettled in some way and you know and like we said with the star card follow your feelings go with your inner guidance Sagittarius it's only going to treat you right but it's just because of the energies of the changes, the reflection, the wanting to do something new. It's just making you feel a bit emotional. And you will feel stronger as you go into January. OK, Sagittarius, I hope you were happy with that reading. I hope it has helped you in some way. If it has, then don't forget to put a comment below. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. It's totally free to subscribe. 
don't forget to check out the description box below and also I do have my 2022 spreads now available so if you look on the videos on my channels you will see your 2022 reading so do have a look at that as well and thank you for watching